So what are we doing today? Hi. So this is where the famous doctor who managed to save you lives, huh? I'd never been here when I was alive, but I do know that he used to own bees. Doc Mitchell? I don't think that's but true. But when his wife died, he sold them, which is a damn shame, because this house looks perfect for bees. Yeah? Bye. Bye? Is he, is he suggesting we kill Doc Mitchell and take his house over for <laughs> bees? Well, he doesn't have any bees. Were you listening to what the ghost of Adam Benson said? He, it sounded like he was insinuating we kill Doc Mitchell and make his house a bee farm. Well, since we're here in Good Springs, maybe we should let that bee woman here uh, know that Benson died. Uh, excuse me, miss. Lock and load. Welcome back. How can I help you? Adam died. Ah, uh, yes, I heard about that. I know I'm asking for a lot here, but could you pick up Adam's body and bring it here? I... Oh, I... what? I want to give him a proper burial. Didn't realize you were close. I... okay, sure. I, I guess. I, I thought he was just your supplier of bees. You have my eternal gratitude. I wish you lots of luck. I'm going to prepare for his funeral now. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. We'll be, be right. going Oh! God, I hope that fucking street performer isn't here tonight. What the that guy should be arrested for a serial raping comedy. <laughs> Echo Bob, what the hell? What happened, man? Why are you so injured? What's wrong with you? What do you want? Go away! God, freaking Gecko Bob! <laughs> Even death does not stop his ambition. Well, we got his body. Okay. Uh, dude. Thanks, kid. I know Rachel asked you to do this, but I need you to know that carrying my body all that way just to give me a... A burial? A funeral is very appreciated. And while I would love to keep you company, seeing you carry my dead body is a bit too much for me. That's beneath you. But I wish you luck on the way back. Okay, see you later, buddy. Bye. We brought you a body. We brought you a body. Oh, wow. It feels so surreal seeing his body like that. I mean, thanks for bringing him here. I'm going to prepare him for his grave now. You'll be happy to know there's a plot available in the graveyard. The one I was supposed to be buried in. Yeah, the one you were buried in. I remember my head got blown off. Fun times. Yeah. Holy be Jesus! She's eating my body! Rachel is eating my body! Stop her! Wait, what? <laughs> or not. I am already dead after all. What? What? She's a cannibal? What? Looks like the door is locked. I suppose I'll just have to make peace with the fact that my body is someone's dinner now. What the f- And done. <laughs> yeah? That was fast. I live in B heaven now. Why would I care about my dead body? Still, thanks for trying to give me a proper funeral, kid. I appreciate the thought. Oh, and bye again. Goodbye. Door's still locked. Well, I guess we should leave. What the f- It's been a weird day, man. Yeah. It's been a weird day. No more bee jokes. No more- There's no more bees, so there's no more bee jokes. No bees. I give that last one I did a solid B minus. Yes, stop the bee puns, please. They're past their expiration date. Now that's stretching way too far. <laughs> well, if you want to keep going, we can go forever. No, we're done. Well, we're bee puns. <laughs> bee puns are dumb. We've established that. Yes, especially when you're using the copular English verb. What does copular mean? It, it's the word that means bee. To Cop bee. I thought you said copulate. No, copular. It's the same root word. Cop it links things together. Like, oh. I am great. It's linking me and greatness. And uh, copulate, man and co woman copulating. It's the same thing. That has been your English lesson for today. Anyway, let's go off on an adventure. Adventures! That was that an adventure? That was negligent discharging of your weapon. That was me shooting. I wasn't a negligent discharge. I did it on purpose. I shot the rock on purpose. Yes, and it's very negligent of you.
I'm negligent. I did it on purpose. I know. I'm not saying it's... I know what's behind my target. Did I say accidental? I don't think I did. It's intentional negligence. There wasn't negligent, though. I knew what I was doing. I can see the rock. I can see what's behind it. Yeah. I intended to destroy the rock. And it could... You, you, you don't think maybe the bullet could ricochet off of it? No! Of course not! Ricochets don't exist? No, I was using frangibles. Fliché rounds? No, frangibles are... It's usually like a copper jacket with, like, powdered lead on the inside of it. Full copper jacket. It's still a jacket, but then the moment it hits anything, the bullet basically just disintegrates. Hooray! I learned things about guns, and you learned things about... English. Joke's on you! I didn't learn anything about English! <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, a new companion. What do you want? Um... I want you to travel with us! Then let us be the storm that ravages this world. What? Alright, so where are we going? We're gonna go to the Vicky and Vance Casino! Woo! Vicky and Vance Casino! We're not gonna be gambling! It's in Prim! Uh, yeah, that does nothing. Adam, what do you want? Vicky and Vance? I mean, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Just don't expect any bees you have to stay awake. They won't leave, but they won't be excited to be here either. Uh-huh. Can we get rid of Adam? <laughs> yeah, good luck, he's a ghost. Oh, great. You wanna have a seance? <laughs> yeah, find the Ouija board. <laughs> Just bees, bees, bees all the time with him. I know, right? This is a child. Yes, it is. Hey, do you need medical attention? You can't be a doctor, you're just a kid. His name's Doogie. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, nobody gets those references. You can't be a doctor, you're just a kid. True, but I'm also a genius. If you have a problem with that, I can get you a car dealer who's not as smart as me. <laughs> can you heal my radiation? I'll do it for 100 caps. Also, you have to bark like a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> woof, woof, here's my 100 caps. Arruff. There he is. Mystery man, that is some suit, buddy. <laughs> so, we finally meet... Why do you sound like... The Great Courier 6. Microsoft Sam. I've been looking for you. But you found us! You see, there is a town in dire need of help from someone like you. A sociopath? <laughs> when you are ready, I'll guide you there. A town, you say? I've never heard of this town that you've not given us the name of, so... What town? Far north of here is a wilderness that is widely ignored and unseen by the outside world. What, Wyoming? Atop a hill within the many trees of the surrounding forest lies a small, troubled little town. Darkwood Falls. I know there are valuable things to be found out there. Secrets. Wealth. Also, the feeling of doing something good for others. Okay. If that is something that counts for you, Courier. I do enjoy philanthropy. All right, well, who even are you? I am someone who travels the world, day and night. Someone who sees what others do not. Mm-hmm. Someone who wants to do what is best for humanity. I don't believe it. That is all you need to know. Enough talking, let's go. All right, let's go forward. Victory awaits. Oh, someone turned off the uh, saturation here. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Spooky. Where's my night vision goggles? I'll be your night vision goggles. It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You can't be my night vision goggles. I'm going this way. Hey, if I see better than you do at night, then yes, kind of I am. The, woo, there's a bear. There's a bear. I don't see a bear. There's a bit. Oh, yeah, I'll be your night vision goggles, says the man that ran right past the bear without even seeing it. Look, there it is. Wait, oh, there's a bear it's over here. Oh, God, Zach, help me. There's a bear over here. Ah! Uh, see, I knew that would happen. Embrace the shadows. Wow, it's fast. This looks like, uh, yep, this is a pretty terrifying bear, all right. God, it's got such thick hide. Uh, oh, there, oh, there it goes. Wow. A warm welcome to Darkwood Fall. Why does that look like the Twin Peaks sign? So this is Darkwood Falls, huh? Mm -hmm. A couple houses to our left. Kind of a pit. Look, look, I'm a bird. <laughs> Hooray! Splash, 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 splash. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. Remember to clean under your armpits. I already did. Hello. Ah, uh, a newcomer. 
I hope you didn't have too much trouble getting here. Bears. The woods can be a bit... Well, a bit unwelcoming sometimes. What do you got to trade? He's got a bunch of ammo. And by that, I mean he has a wide variety of ammo. Not yeah. a lot. He Rounds. has seven bullets of every caliber. Do you have any customers out here? Well, besides the other townspeople, we do get occasional visits from merchants who help keep me stocked. Looks like they're not doing a good job in the ammo department. The last notable customer I had was when a group from the Brotherhood of Steel arrived, mainly just asking for directions. And killing people? That had been the first I'd seen of them. <laughs> Which I know sounds crazy, considering my age. It's not too crazy. Well, anyway... What are you, like 30? I think you get what I was leading to. We aren't exactly a... a bustling tourist destination. Don't Why not? You got a fountain. What can you tell us about yourself? Well, I can't say I'm all that interesting. These days, I mostly just hide away in the shop and read my books. Oh yeah? What you reading? Books from the pre-war era are very important to me. Okay. I've always felt that people should make a better effort to preserve them. Fiction? Non-fiction? And yet, I grow older every day. I feel as though, but every day that passes, the writings of our pre-war ancestors are gradually fading away. I guess... I guess I just can't accept the death of the old world. A world that I... I never got to experience. If you happen to find any noteworthy books in good condition, then I'll be happy to pay you for them. You know what? I think I found a book you might be interested in. Well, let's see it then. Actually, never mind. <laughs> he psyched him out! I didn't mean to do that. What an asshole! Uh, okay. <laughs> I got mental problems. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Till next time. Alright, we'll keep an eye out. This looks like an interesting house. And by that I mean it looks like every other house. Knock, knock! I have a gun! Greetings, Knack Valentine! Huh. I suppose you aren't one of the townspeople. No. What are you doing here, then? Out with it. I'm just in your house, pointing a gun at you. The man in a strange suit convinced me to come here and help out. Yeah, it would seem he unfortunately convinced me to come here as well. Why? I would normally shun an unsightly individual like him outright. Yeah, never mind that. He told you to find me. He thinks a lowly courier like you can help. Man, you get some real bad sweat stains on your armpits. What exactly is so great about you? Because I don't see a thing. Pretty hostile off the gate. Well, we both know that investigating solo can lead to dead ends. Yeah, that can certainly happen in murky cases such as this one. So will you accept my help? Yes, yes, fine. I suppose I could suffer your presence for a while. Hooray! We're gonna kill him later. I suppose now is the time where I tell you what I've found so far. Unfortunately, it isn't much as the townspeople haven't exactly been open to discussion. Really? With your disposition? And I thought I was a charmer. So what exactly happened here? Two residents of the town have gone missing. The first was Molly Hughes, the mayor's daughter. Ooh. Then not too long after was Leland Price, husband of Sarah Price. Maybe they left because you showed up. Both disappearances happened roughly a week before that strange man brought us here. This meant that there was a distinct lack of physical evidence to be found. The culprit could have easily covered their tracks. This means we are going to have to rely on the word of these backwater townspeople. Wow, no wonder they don't like and you. that's where you come in. As they've already decided they don't like me, yeah. you need to be the talker. <laughs> okay, we probably couldn't do a worse job. Even if I burst into every home unannounced, wielding a rifle, I'm pretty sure I would be received better than you have been. It's not going to be easy. There's no physical evidence, and it seems as though most of the townspeople don't know what happened. The only one who might have any real insight would be Mackley, the town sheriff. Talk to him. See if he has anything useful. Oh, the town has a sheriff. Fancy. Well? Stop standing there and get moving. You have your orders. Okay, pleasantest man. I, I think he knew we were going to do this. Oh, looks like there's been a third murder in this town. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's going to get up. Ah! Ah! Oh, God, he's a zombie! <laughs> Alright! Good, we didn't break this! 
Oh, he's bald. <laughs> oh, look at Baldy. Uh, no wonder he's so cranky. He doesn't have any hair. Yes, everyone knows the hair is where the personality is stored. Yeah. I'd be cranky, too, if my hair looked like I had mange. <laughs> Super Mutants are a successful rebranding of Subpa. We took his hat, and it, for some reason, he doesn't have it back on. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we actually broke it now. Cool. Let's go. All right, we'll leave him without his hat. I'm looking for the sheriff. Oh, hello, stranger. You're with Morris, correct? We just got here. No, I'm by myself. I hope I can do enough to assist you. But to be honest, lately, I've been questioning my own abilities. I'm supposed to be the person who keeps this town safe, and yet... And yet you failed. I mean, it's not his fault. I can't help but to feel as though I failed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't beat yourself up over it. You couldn't have known that the town would get invaded by a supernatural entity. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I suppose the circumstances are just too damn strange. I just hope that they can still be saved. Were you able to infer anything about the disappearances? The disappearances happened on two consecutive nights. First, Molly. Then, Leland. There was no evidence of any sort of struggle in either case. Nor was there any sound reported in either night. That left me with two possible conclusions as to what happened. Emus. They eloped with emus. However, to make sure we're both thinking on the same lines, I'll ask you. What do you think happened? I don't know. I'm still trying to get information. I wouldn't worry about it. What's that? You found a bunch of blood in their room? They probably were keeping the blood. Maybe they left without telling anybody. Bunch of horny teenagers went out into the woods. Are they teenagers? I don't know. Yes, I thought of that. So I asked those who were close to them if they had any motive for doing so. Molly's mother, Claudia, our mayor, said that Molly was in a normal, healthy state of mind and had no apparent desire to go anywhere outside of town. Interesting. They don't really know that, though. Leland's wife, Sarah, said that Leland also had no known motive to leave town. Based on this, it seems as though either of them leaving on their own volition is unlikely. Teenagers are unpredictable. One of them was married. This place does seem like it might be a breeding ground for incest. <laughs> No offense to present company! I, you don't know me? He married a cougar! Bears did it! Bears! It was bears! It was all bears! Damn those bears! The, I mean, those bears that are outside of town are pretty freaking terrifying, so yeah, it probably was bears. Nobody likes bears anyway. We all like bull markets. Stock market joke! <laughs> Perhaps them being kidnapped or murdered is more likely. Yes, it seems like the much stronger possibility. It's the only thing that would make sense to me, for the moment. Despite there being no signs of a struggle? At the same time, I also can't lead myself to believe that someone in town did this. And yet, the world outside of our town barely even recognizes our existence. So, who else could it be? I just wish I could do more. No, that's alright, you just keep sitting there. All right, leave it to us. Thank you, stranger. Good luck. Let's report this back to Morris. It's important that we do that. Hey, Morris, you find your hat yet? Ah, <laughs> uh, you found it. You found it. You look normal with the hat on. I'm just saying. Also, you might want to get a hat that's a little bit bigger because it looks like that one is wearing bald spots. <laughs> What do you have for me? Why are you so rude all the time? Just listen to yourself. <laughs> How pathetic. It's not answering my question. The reason I'm so rude, as you put it, is because you are below me and can never hope to be my superior. <laughs> that is all. Yeah? You... You should just be twirling your mustache and going, <laughs> I'll tie Daisy Do-Right to the train tracks. Hey, Charisma's not a dump stat, you asshole. 
So you, what, you from the Mojave too? Because only people from the Mojave could be this rude. And bald. Are you trying to make small talk with me? Disgusting. I'm trying to figure out what your motive is. And no, I have nothing to do with that heat-blasted Dennis Sin. How dare you speak so accurately about our hometown! Yeah! You jerk! You bald jerk! Anyway, look, uh, Mackley thinks they may have been kidnapped or murdered, but he doesn't really have any evidence to back it up. He's a fool to think that is the most possible cause. Yeah, I know, right? I think what is actually more likely is that these two left town willingly. This is certainly getting more complicated than I thought. Bang into the forest, I'm telling you. It looks like we're going to have to learn more about this town to understand what truly happened here. That's what I was going to do. Go talk to the mayor, see what she can fill you in on, then report back. We were going to do that before we talked to this chump. Also, your bed is disgusting. Get some sheets, you filthy animal. <laughs> Looking for the mayor in all the wrong places. Hey there, baby! Ah, uh, a new face. I assume you're with the investigator. Why do you assume this? I am the lead investigator. We killed him and usurped him. That's good to hear. <laughs> we certainly need all the help we can get right now. Yes, we do. I'm Claudia, the town's mayor. Hello, Claudia. Pleased to meet you. Does the town get many visitors? I assume not. We get occasional visits from merchants and less frequent envoys from wasteland factions that you likely know better than I. Oh? Whenever those factions show up here... We kill them and eat them. It's always for some form of selfish gain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though they never say it outright. Why do you talk like you're a ghost? It's always been a pleasure of mine to send them away. Nice and discouraged. Having to report to their leaders that they failed. So what are your thoughts on the Legion at NCR? <laughs> How do you really feel? <laughs> I don't like them very much. I don't understand why. <laughs> I'd rather just stay here and play with my bug collection. Isn't your daughter missing? Oh, that's probably why she sounds so despondent. What was life like in Darkwood Falls before your daughter was kidnapped? Peaceful. And quiet. Far from the types of dangers that one would encounter in most other parts of our irradiated world. This town is also the perfect place for self-reflection. Breathing the fresh, crisp air. Without any colors. And looking out upon the trees. Does much for the soul. Nothing like having your daughter kidnapped to reflect on the beauty of nature. Yep. <coughs> What can you tell me about this town and its people? The ones that haven't been kidnapped. We are a quiet, isolated people. Slow speaking as well. We tend to be more reserved in our dealings with outsiders. They choose their words circumspectly. <laughs> we also try to maintain the traditions and rules that have always been followed since the town's pre-war founding. Historically, Darkwood Falls has always been a religious town. Oh, yeah? But fervor has certainly died out in recent years. <laughs> no! Oh, no kidding! The passion is gone! <laughs> the fervor has died out. <laughs> I heard that's a town motto. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you tell us about your religion? It is not our way to divulge that in detail to outsiders. Just a general overview, then. Cannibalism! And besides, I personally don't see how any of this will help you find Leland. Or my daughter. It seems weird that she wouldn't bring up her daughter first. Now, if you could, please leave me. I'd like to be alone for a while. Why? Someone you love gone missing? Your presence only serves as a painful reminder. That people exist. Damn it. How dare you try to help me. Let's steal some books. We can't seem to find any evidence in here. They they really have disappeared without a trace. Holy shit, this is a nice bathroom. Ooh. Uh. I found this. 
Hey, there's a floating severed hand over here! Yeah, that's what I found. You think that might be related to the daughter's disappearance? Uh, it's entirely possible! Excuse me, mademoiselle. Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. I see you twitching with nervousness. Hello again. Need anything? I found a fucking bone in the <laughs> in the bathroom, right behind the shower curtain. Enjoy your time here, but be sure to treat our town with respect. Fine, then. You wouldn't want to know what happens to those who don't. Keep your secret. What? <laughs> yeah, sure. We have no idea what could happen to them. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do you a solid and dispose the evidence for you. Please don't murder me in my sleep. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the fire now. I'll be going. This place is mad fucked, yo. I don't like it. What do you have for me? Uh, the mayor, Claudia. She's real freaking weird. Didn't really seem too perturbed about the loss of her daughter. Had a severed hand in the bathroom. Yeah. Might be connected. Yes. It would definitely seem that the old hag is hiding things. But does that truly pertain to the matter at hand? <laughs> what do you think? Regardless, I have already learned most of what she told you. Sorry, Aaron Runner. I guess I wasted some of your precious time. God, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I want you to talk to Suave next. He seems to be the only well-educated one here. Oh, General store owner. Sure. Try to get him to talk about what the mayor avoided. In particular, anything related to this town's history or religious beliefs would be useful. Go, and don't come back until you learn something worthwhile. See what happens when you keep being a dick, buddy? This time we're gonna take your hat and not give it back. You can be bald forever. Give me that hat, jackass. Have fun being bald. Um, hello. Normally they're uh, pretty excited to see you, but I guess today they're not fun guys. 